Hi, Vicki Crystalline here. So as you all come in and drop into your own authentic self, just breathe into this experience. So you receive it at heart level. Let the mind go. Allow yourself to receive it fully. You will feel plugging into your heart. Breathe into this experience now. Deep breath of a circle. In through the nose, into the belly, and then release. One more time. One more time. It just feels really nice right now. So allow yourself to breathe into this. So I speak light language. Light language is my authentic language. So it goes past the mind and drops directly into the heart. Everyone can do it. So, and out of it you receive whatever you need to receive. I felt instant balance, you know, instant connection, instant whatever. Yeah, igniting, definitely igniting, igniting my wings. Yeah, everything, my toe, everything. So, I, we're in powerful times right now. I talk about that a lot. And um, if you watched any of my videos, we are really extremely, this is amping up. It's amping up, amping up, amping up, and this doorway tomorrow is opening up to where you're going, where you are choosing to be on your own dimensions. Because they're all playing out right now. Um, I want to bring forth what I have been kind of going through over the last two weeks of my life. So in those two weeks of my life, I have done um, shrooms three times. Each time, <clears throat> they keep just dropping into my life. Once again, they dropped in my, to my life again. So I did them last night. I'm going to do them on the 8-8 Lionsgate portal. I'm going to do them again then. And then I'm going to do them with the collective on Saturday on the new moon, uh, which is also going to be a polar, uh, polar, a, uh, wow, well, a um, partial lunar eclipse. And, um, but there's a portal that's opening up each of these days, each of these times. And so when I do the shrooms, they allow me to get out of the way and bring forth the authentic of what is truly playing out on my field. So with that, um, with that, I want to bring forth our relationships because that has really been playing out in my life. And I am in a relationship right now, but, um, and it's amazing. It's it's completely amazing. And I'm seeing a lot of beings. My daughters are getting in relationships. A lot of beings are getting in relationships on Facebook. I'm seeing it in friends. A lot of pe uh, relationships are coming together now. But what I'm learning is, is it for your, is it your authentic journey? Wow, my gut just, yeah, I just dumped. Wow. Okay. That's where we're going. So, is this relationship for your authentic journey? In my um, shroom experience last night, which I'm just bringing this forward right now, and you can feel it in your heart, you can feel the frequencies in your heart. So, um, last night, this individual that I have actually been talking to over the last two weeks, um, from my last shroom experience, he came in. And it was so amazing because I was talking to my girlfriend, Cheryl, and then he popped forward. Well, now for two weeks, we have been talking. But, um, we've literally talked on the phone for four times, four times for less than, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. And um, it's me mostly texting through the day, and I get one or two texts. Now, I do feel very connected to this individual, but I also feel something is not right. I am owning that. I feel that something is... This is not right for me in my experience right now. So that's 
one reason why I brought forward this first shroom experience. Each one of these experiences are bringing me to a new enlightenment of where I'm choosing to go. In this first experience of my relationship with this, I've watched this whole unfolding and he has physically not wanted to be a part of my experience in the physical, but he has went through traumatic events. He, uh, as soon as we met the next day, his house caught a fire. He lost everything. He's going through all this, and and I see that. I can I completely see that he is um, going through all these traumatic events of losing his home, of trying to pull his life together. But in that, um, we are responding, but it's me a lot and him a little. So when I got out of the way last night, of um of myself through the shroom experience, they showed me that the authentic being that is going to be with me, he will go through everything of fire. He will lose everything. He will do whatever it takes to be in the presence of my life. That's when I will know it will be the authentic beingness. So be really present with yourself. Is this authentic being? Is it complete? Is it complete balance? But in this creating of this relationship, it has created a relationship in my life. I feel it here. I feel that this, and I felt this actually all along. That he, we're creating this relationship. Me and him are creating this relationship so that I could move forward into my authentic relationship. I am learning completely through this relationship that um, I'm blending out of where um, this individual is, is choosing to be. But he is my authentic, and, and this is the kind of the confusing thing. He is my authentic beingness, but I'm blending past him into my authentic beingness where we're all together that we, there's no resistance. I don't have to fit into his life. He doesn't have to fit into my life. He may not look the same. He may have this different name. But it's bringing forth my authentic relationship. There's no bullshit. There's no bullshit. So being in this relationship with this individual has brought forward my authentic relationship. And it's coming forward. It, and it's completely coming forward. And I'm allowing it. So that's what I'm bringing forward for you. Are you truly in your authentic relationship? Don't judge it. You'll feel it. You'll know it. That's what I was doing with, with this individual. I was more in the head. I would feel him in my heart. I would feel him. And sometimes he would say the perfect words. But the thing is, he's not ready. In this lifetime, he's not ready. So I'm blending past where he's not ready and blending to we are ready. That's what they showed me. So... If it's him, so be it. If it's not him, so be it. But I'm blending to my authentic relationship. We are all doing that in everything. Have you noticed that everything is more connected? Everything you can see. You can see where everything, where the lineages come from everything. As soon as you touch it. As soon as you see it. As soon as you taste it. As soon as you feel it. You can feel the lineages. But is you owning you. Is this where you want to be? Tomorrow, this is the gate. Is this where you want to be in your authenticness of your beingness? Tomorrow, the gate opens. I already feel like it's already opening. And then we're moving into, let's really feel into this energy. Just set still and feel the energy around you of you. But are you moving in to your authentic direction? Are you going to where you're going to be stuck and have to learn a whole bunch of stuff? Are you learning to go to New Gaia? That's where I'm going. That's where I'm going. I would not have to be stuck to a phone so this individual is in my life. This individual would be in my life because they are ready to be in my life. And that's what I'm calling forward. Thank you, Chase, for bringing that forward, right? Just like that. Just like that. When that individual is ready for your life, there's no red flags. There's no stuckness. It's easy. 
it's easy, it's easy, it's easy. This individual I am very thankful for because he's bringing forth this full authentic relationship of what I am choosing. And I'm choosing the highest version of me. I'm blending into that. We were meant to meet. We were meant to go through this whole process completely. So if you fill into your own frequencies and you fill into your own authentic relationships, don't judge them. Feel them. Feel, is this where I authentically want to be for the rest of my life? That's where I'm going for the rest of my life. Right? Let the lessons go. Not that we won't have ups and downs. We will. But it's not trying. Somebody's trying. It's, this is how it is with me and this individual. I'm ready. He's not. We can't come together because he's trying to stick a round, uh, a round peg into a square box. It doesn't fit. I don't fit into his life yet. Even though he went through this huge transformational beingness, as of right now, I don't fit into his life. And I accept that. I honor that. I honor that. I honor that. Because when I am with my authentic, my authentic beloved, there will be no second guessing. And that's what I've done this whole last two weeks. I've second guessed because I do feel him. That's because he is him, but I'm choosing a higher version in a way of him that's ready to be in this present time with me. And that's what we're blending to. So don't hold yourself back. There's codes and keys in all that you're carrying within your cellular body. I let those go yesterday, last night when I did this experience, and tomorrow when I, did, when I do my next experience of the Lion Portal. I'm allowing my full expression to be as it is, of his authenticness. Aren't we all? So, this was an amazing relationship. Does this mean that I ended right now with this beloved? It will all play its way out. I don't got to figure it out. It'll, everything will play its way out. Everything will show. Everything will show. Everything. I'm not forcing anything. I'm not forcing anything. If he is to be here, he'll be here. If he's not, he's not. But it's bringing forth because I know what it feels like to be in a relationship. And I am ready. I am ready. I am ready. I am ready. And if you are ready, I can see it out there. We're all ready. We're all ready. We're all ready. I send love to all of you. So, be very aware of where is this taking you. Are you giving more energy? Are you receiving more energy? And you're not doing your part. The balance, it's easy, gently. That's when you're in, you're with your authenticness. That's when you're with your authentic beloved. Your authentic beloved. And that's what I'm calling for. And it's gonna happen. It's already here. It's already here. I send love to all of you. May you all all be blessed. These are powerful times. Powerful, powerful times. Be the light you are. Let your emotions explode because they are your power center. They show you where you're moving through life. Trust that. Trust it. Trust it. They won't lead you wrong. That's what this whole thing has showed me. They have never let me wrong. That's why when I was going through this last two weeks, I felt it, but then I didn't feel it. It was like I was trying to create something that I didn't fit in the hole. Right? Ice and love to all of you. May you all be blessed. If you want a reading or healing, email me. May you be blessed. Have an amazing, amazing, amazing Lion Gate portal. Connect to the energy. I'll see you soon.